Welcome to our exploration of Roman gods. We'll uncover how these divine figures mirrored Roman society from the mighty Capitoline triad to the lesser known deities shaping daily life. Our journey will reveal the intricate tapestry of Roman religion and its enduring impact on Western culture. Let's begin by examining how the Pantheon reflected Roman values and societal structure. The Pantheon of Roman gods mirrored society's values and aspirations. Mars, god of war, embodied military discipline and imperial ambition, reflecting Rome's martial culture. Religious rituals and auguries significantly influenced political decisions and public affairs, demonstrating the integration of faith and state. Before important decisions, Roman leaders often observed the flight of birds for divine guidance, a practice deeply ingrained in governance. This blend of religion and politics set the stage for the complex development of Roman faith. Roman religion emerged from a combination of Italian, Etruscan, and Greek influences. Etruscan divination practices such as haruspicy, the reading of animal entrails, shaped Roman rituals. Greek deities found Roman counterparts, Zeus became Jupiter, Athena transformed into Minerva. By 753 BC, Rome's founding year, a distinct pantheon had emerged, overseen by the Pontifex Maximus, a pivotal figure in both religious and political spheres. This synthesis of various traditions led to the formation of a unique Roman religious identity centered around the Capitoline Triad. The Capitoline Triad, Jupiter, Juno, and Minerva reigned supreme in Roman religion. Their temple on Capitoline Hill symbolized divine protection and state power. Annual rituals, such as driving a nail into the temple wall on the Ides of September, marked significant moments in the Roman calendar. Emperors like Augustus cleverly associated themselves with these deities, illustrating how religious symbolism was leveraged for political legitimacy. This intertwining of divine and mortal realms extended to other major gods, particularly Mars and Venus. Mars and Venus epitomized Rome's essence. Mars, the war god, also governed agriculture, reflecting Rome's dual identity as a military and farming society. His rituals, like the Suvatorilia, sought divine purification before battles or for land. Venus, goddess of love and beauty, played a pivotal role in Rome's origin myth as mother of Aeneas. Their worship permeated Roman life, from military campaigns to festivals celebrating love and fertility. This focus on Mars and Venus highlights how Roman deities, while similar to their Greek counterparts, possessed unique attributes reflecting distinct Roman values. Roman gods, though similar to Greek ones, were adapted to reflect Roman ideals. Jupiter, Zeus's counterpart, embodied Rome's administrative and legal authority. Known as Optimus Maximus, Jupiter's expanded role in state affairs mirrored Rome's emphasis on civic duty. This adaptation process, Interpretatio Romana, transformed Greek gods into distinctly Roman deities. As Rome's influence grew, so did the roles of its gods, permeating every aspect of daily life. Roman gods were integral to daily life. In homes, families made offerings to the Lares and Penates, guardian spirits of the household. Beyond the home, annual festivals like Saturnalia and Lupercalia united communities, often reversing social norms and performing purification rites. These practices demonstrate how deeply ingrained religious observance was in Roman society, extending from private households to public spaces and encompassing a rich tapestry of deities. The Roman pantheon was diverse and ever-evolving. Deities like Pomona, goddess of fruit trees, and Vertumnus, god of seasons, represented various aspects of nature and life. As Rome expanded, its religious landscape evolved, absorbing gods from conquered territories. New deities were also created for specific roles, such as abundantia for prosperity, reflecting the adaptability of Roman religion to address societal needs and cultural diversity. This dynamic nature of Roman religion was vividly portrayed through various art forms. Through the arts, Rome's gods came to life in vivid detail. Literature like Virgil's Aeneid showcased major deities guiding mortal affairs. Public spaces, such as the Forum of Augustus with its temple to Mars Altor, combined religious devotion with political messaging. Sculptures and frescoes brought deities into daily life, with divine symbols serving as powerful visual reminders throughout the empire. 
This artistic representation of Roman gods has had a lasting impact, influencing Western culture long after the fall of Rome. The influence of Roman faith extends to modern times. Christian iconography absorbed Roman symbols, while Renaissance masters revived classical themes. Contemporary pop culture continues to draw inspiration from Roman deities, introducing these ancient figures to new generations. Structures like the Pantheon in Rome stand as tangible links between ancient Roman religion and modern Western culture, demonstrating the enduring legacy of these beliefs and practices. Roman gods were central to Rome's identity, shaping Western art, literature, and thought. Their influence extended far beyond ancient times, as evidenced by the transformation of religious sites into cultural landmarks. The enduring fascination with these deities demonstrates their continued relevance in our cultural imagination. From inspiring modern storytelling to influencing architectural design, the legacy of Roman gods underscores the lasting impact of Rome's religious heritage on Western civilization, offering insights into human nature and societal values that bridge the gap between ancient Rome and the modern world.